Hello everyone, I'm Nilu and I'm going to teach you how to calculate direct and diffuse solar radiation. Okay, so I am new in transits and uh, I just started using it because I am doing a simulation for a validation of uh, the real data and what I needed to have is I needed to have some direct and diffuse solar radiation input for my simulation but knowing that uh, on uh, experimental data we are only given a total average radiation so I was looking for a way to calculate those and um, I searched a lot online and on the blogs I found out that transits actually can calculate that but I couldn't find any tutorials or um, anything how how can I input that and how, how does it work so I decided to make this video for you guys for you, any of you that has the same problem have the real weather data and want to find the direct and diffuse solar radiation so this video is for you and I'm going to share with you my findings hope you enjoy it okay so I'm going to explain a basic of transits if you also never work with transits um, I think it's quite simple. I'm going to simplify. So we we have one input, and transit works with one processor, or you can have more processors depends on how complex your components are. And then we have some output. Also depends on how many outputs you want. So for my case here, I have a real weather data, and I, depending on what variables of weather data I have, I want to have some. Um, output so I just write a simple excel format of my data I have a global uh, total radiation and I also have the ambient temperature and also humidity you can also only have global and get the result or if you have these two parameter I think maybe you can have a more accurate uh, results but you can also work with only having a total radiation okay so that's up to you what information you have I'm going to work with this tree and I'm having uh, hourly data so this is per hour and it's the whole year so I have more than 8,000 rows and I'm going to input this into my transits and I am expecting to get diffuse and direct solar radiation okay so I'm going to open a new one okay empty transits for quick and okay we're gonna start from input the input file so there are so many different type of input file but for weather data we will use um, in utility data readers so this um, what does data the generic data reader here type 9 type 9 is basic that uh, takes the intervals of time you will read data at uh, a time interval it's not specific to weather or anything but the good thing is it's at a time interval so I'm choosing 9C because it's free format and also I can skip the first line because I have header so I choose 9C for my data input and then I will select and I will want to input my file so here external files you can browse in through and I saved my file here my excel file I can save it as a text file so I have my good good text file so I'm gonna input this here and then I go to parameters so um, here because I already have one header so I wanted to skip one line so I will set it at one and number of values to read so because I want I have three columns so I will set three and if you have more columns but you are not going to use them you still need to put them like for example if I had five columns here like wind speed or something else you can still you have to put it as read because it would go one line by line but you don't have to it doesn't you don't have to use them but you have to read them so here I will put my time interval is every one hour and um, that's it I wouldn't touch the others uh, the output and everything and then I will go to okay so now I want to go to processor so my processor what I want to do is I want to I have some radiation so I go to physical phenomena and then I have radiation processor okay on the radiation processor you see there are a few options one is beam and diffuse known so this this is not my issue I have total horizon horizontal uh, radiation and now uh, mode one 
mode number one which is 68 is if you only have total but I also have my temperature and humidity so I'm going to use type 16 C okay so here you have to make sure you have the correct data okay for example your latitude should be set into your your location that you have um for example mine is monterey and mine will be 25 point 10. and another thing is you have to be careful here is the shift in solar time which you can you can look at you can open the more and you, see, you can see the uh, formula how to calculate and I have calculated mine before so mine was minus 10 I'm going to input that and then we are good to go okay so next thing is for us to choose our output files how we want to read the files uh, if you just want to see the simulation online uh, you can go to online plotter without a file but i want an excel sheet so i can export the data and read the data and analyze it so here under my online plot plotter with file i will go to transit supplied units so i will choose 65a and i will leave it here okay so now i have all my i have my input processor and output i need to connect them so here comes the trick so i press the connection and I connect my input into my processor and here it comes so how I want to relate I know my first column and you can you can check my first column is my total and then my radiation so it is correct I mean I set it accordingly so I'm just going to connect them and then I also have to connect my last time of read okay so now we are good to go and then next thing I have to do is I have to connect my processor to my output so what I need here I want to see the total being horizontal so the last thing is diffuse radiation so I'm just looking for this tree three variables and I'm going to press OK so for me to check that uh, everything is okay I need to run it but before that I'm going to check the setting and tell you something okay so by uh, it it's it's on 0 0.125 which uh, I think it's not usable and it's not so easy to use when you want to simulate or do a chart analysis so I just set this to one hour and here if you want to see for one week it depends on how many hours you want to see here is from first first of January for example how we want to uh, until I want to I want to see it for the whole year so I'm going to set it to the whole year and I'm going to press OK so then to make sure everything is good I'm going to run it and there is no error okay perfect so I the, the main thing I need here was my um, external file so for this I'm going to select one file I actually made a file and uh, that it could read inside I call it um, test 2 so it's a text file so it can put it inside so I'm going to press that and I'm going to close it and I'm going to simulate it again yes okay so I want to see how it looks like so I'm going to open it okay so you can see my time is every hour and I have my total, my normal radiation, and I have my diffuse radiation. And this is a non diffuse gas. So I have basically two of them. And now I can expose it into Excel and use it however I need. So maybe I will make another video to show you how I'm going to use this data into my simulation. But I hope this helped and now given a total radiation you can have diffuse and direct